bringing you the latest Arizona high school football recruiting news year-round. This is the Recruiting Roundup on ProsToPreps.com. It's time for the Roundup. This is Jason Jewell. My name is Jared Cohen. Every week, twice a week, we bring you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting. And what a week it's been. You know, at the beginning of the spring, we saw a lot of the well-known players adding offer after offer after offer. But in the last few weeks, we've seen players getting their first offers, their first scholarship offers, leading into their senior season in the 2014 class. We're going to get to some of those, but before that, Jason... This may be the second best quarterback in the 2014 class. Luke Rebenzer out of Saguaro, he made a commitment last week. Committed to Cal. It was the first BCS offer for Luke. He had a handful, almost a dozen mid-major offers. But it was the first big-time offer for him, and he took it within 24 hours of being offered. I know Tony Franklin, the OC at Cal, was really recruiting this kid heavily. And Luke committed right away. Academic school. Luke's a 4.2 GPA kid. He fits the offense perfectly, didn't take him long to make his choice, and he's a, a bear. Now, ASU and Wisconsin are two schools that were rumored to be in the mix for him but still hadn't offered. So are you surprised that he committed so early despite the fact that some, there were some other schools in the picture? No, he's a smart kid. He did his research. He knew what he wanted, and I even asked him that question when he did commit. If a, ASU or Wisconsin jumped in and offered, you know, would you reconsider? And he said no, he wants to play a Cal. So Luke Rebenzer going to be playing in Northern California for Cal and Sonny Dykes, the new head coach over there. Now let's get to some of the offers. The first one, another Pac-12 school involved. This time, Jalen Jelks. Haven't talked about him in a while, but he's gotten a ton of offers since spring evaluation period started. Colorado came to him. Yeah, it's his 13th offer. And they offered him up at uh, camp in Northern Arizona. The, the CU staff was up there uh, you know, working that camp, so they got to see him firsthand. You know, he's a kid we've talked about being an O-lineman, a D-lineman. But CU has told him if he wants to play defensive end, defensive end it'll be. So that's, they're going to recruit him on the defensive line. And Jason, you mentioned the passing league tournament up in NAU. You were up there. There were a lot of schools represented. A lot of different colleges came out to check him out. NAU got in the mix, though. And we mentioned a lot of players receiving their first offers. Well, here's a little group of them all offered by NAU. While they were up there, they really stood out. The first one, Emmanuel Butler, a player that we talked about as a summer sleeper, wide receiver out of Mountain Point. He received his first offer from them. Finally got his first offer, NAU. He was the MVP of the camp. He absolutely tore it up, was untouchable. They offered him on the spot. He's a kid, though, I think will blow up, get play more offers. You know, we've talked about it before. He was injured as a junior, just played in five games. As his film gets out, his senior film gets out, expect this kid to blow up. Another receiver that, that obviously did the right thing up in NAU was uh, Valley Vista's Taylor Junio. He received his first offer. Yeah, Terry got his first offer. But I think it's actually as a corner, the, D, uh, the DB's coach up there and the defense coordinator really like him uh, on the defensive side of the ball. But he's a kid that played wide receiver and had well over 1,000 yards receiving last year for Coach Seacotch. And then the, uh, let's go to the defensive side of the football. After we've talked about Emmanuel and Terry on the offensive side, defensive back Wes Sutton out of Chandler, a guy that I know you really like, picked up his first offer from them. I am very, very shocked that this is his first offer. It took so long for him to finally get one, but he did very well at NAU's camp. It took him a few days after the camp uh, for, the, for the Lumberjacks to turn around and offer him. They offered him on Monday night. Again, another kid I think will get plenty more offers. Jason, you, you mentioned some of these players that really played well and got offers. Were there any other guys, maybe 2014 players or beyond, that, that really stood out at that passing league tournament? Yeah, there's a lot of kids I liked. I, was, I got to talk a lot with Jordan Hoyt, the defensive tackle at Chandler, who didn't participate because he's still not cleared from his ACL. I really liked, uh, really liked him a lot. There's, there was 27 teams up there, so there's a whole lot of kids. I know we're going get, to get into that later on with our, in our next show. Yeah, coming up later this week, we're going to talk about some of the underclassmen that have not only received offers, but are, are guys to keep on your radar. We're going to get to that on Friday. While we're at it here, Kalepi Fafida got his third offer. He did, wasn't at the passing league tournament up at NAU from Central High School, but the defensive tackle picked up his third offer from the Lumberjacks. And a few more offers to get through. The first one, Jason Jordan Schleter. We caught this kid when he only had one offer during spring practice. Man, a lot has changed since then. Yeah, he got his seventh offer from the University of New Mexico, BYU, UTEP, Colorado State. 
Uh, those are UNLV. You learned a handful of the other schools that have jumped in and offered Jordan. And New Mexico also offered another defensive back safety player out of Hamilton, Juwan Jones. Yeah, again, seventh offer for him. The same schools are in the mix. I think uh, both recruiting Jordan and Jawan, but another kid that's you know, blowing up too, getting almost double-digit offers. And then Jawan's teammate Jalen Jenkins added Hamilton. He picked up his first offer. Smart kid. Got an offer from the University of San Diego. First offer for him. So those are some of the players getting their first offers and adding to their list in the 2014 class. As mentioned, we're going to have a lot of sleeper players that, that are underclassmen that we're going to bring you later in the week. Before we go, Jason, big event going on at your stomping grounds, GCU, or GCC, this week. Yeah, Thursday we're having a camp, uh, GCC, um, at the school. It starts at 5.30, but what's special about the event is we're having the entire staff, including Rich Rodriguez, from the University of Arizona. We're expecting well over 100 kids to come out and get evaluated uh, by the U of A staff and by our staff as well. So if you're a player checking this out, there's still time to check that out on Thursday. Should be a great event. Rich Rodriguez will be there. Jason Jewell will be there. It'll be a good way to get some great exposure. Until next time, that's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup on ProsToPreps.com.